Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and I am going to talk to you today about change purses or coin purses. At least I'm going to talk about the ones that I have in my possession right now. Um, so there's a lot. There's a lot of different ones out there and I got quite a few to show you. So let's get into it. Uh, let's see. I think first I'm going to talk about this baby. Um, we'll talk about the more like rare items here in a little bit. These go for a lot on the resale market. Uh, they're very much loved, okay? So uh, they're not a cheap item, so if you find one cheap, you might wanna grab it. But what this is, what I have here, what a lot of people call it anyways, is a uh, kiss lot purse or um, a uh, kiss lot coin purse. Uh, the feature, the main feature of it is this kiss lot compartment, and this one's a double. Okay, there's also single, but what it's actually called is, this one is a double purse. It's a 7180 double purse. So 7180 double purse, and then the one that's gonna just be the single kiss lock, slightly smaller, is a 7155 change purse. Neither one of them had the kiss lock name in it, but I do highly recommend if you're looking for an item of this, um, of the such that you should definitely use those search words um, such as kiss lock, change purse, kiss lock, coin purse. You should use those or kiss lock pouch. You should use those in your search. Also, if you're selling an item like this, you definitely want to include that in your description or even the title name, whatever. That's what people think of when they see these little items. And they are, like I said, well sought after. Okay, so very soft leather. I don't know if you noticed, but inside this one, it's red. So it's, uh, I think this one's black on the outside. Navy blue and black can be so hard for me to discern. Sometimes I think it's navy blue. Sometimes I think it's black. I think this one's black though. Um, it has this beautiful red lining. You can see the Coach Car Touch stamp right inside. This one was not used. It's an amazing condition. It's absolutely stunning. Even the hardware which is not solid brass, by the way, so this can wear. I don't believe it's solid brass. Let me test it. Hold on. Okay, so I brought my magnet. Um, I haven't actually literally tested this one, but I'm pretty sure that any Kislock type item, they're not solid brass. They didn't make them in solid brass. I've not seen that across the board on any line in solid brass. It'd be nice, but so this stuff does tend to wear on an item. Oh, yep. So it's magnetized, not solid brass. Okay. But this one's in great condition. Um, I used to have a single one. I sold it, I sold really quickly, like as soon as I listed it. Um, sadly, it was white. It was really cool. It had um, different color lining too. But something I wanted to point out, I wish I had more to show you. I don't, but you can easily Google these other items to get a, a better picture for yourself. Um, in 1996, they kind of changed this little item. Um, they released the 6906 double change purse. So it would have been like this, uh, but it became a 6906 double change purse. Um, here's a catalog photo. And along with that, you can see the 6903, also new in 1996, change purse. Kept the same name, changed the style number. And even though they might at first glance look the same, they're actually not the same. So if you can see there, there is a seam along the bottom. So it's, um, a seam of leather, a leather sewn seam there, midway towards the bottom. I don't even know what you call that, but that's there. So obviously um, you can easily spot that. But something else I noticed, one, the 1996 uh, coin purses, they came with a lot of different Kislock coin purses. They came in a lot of different colors, a lot of fun colors. I see periwinkle, I've seen lime, um, like I've seen really dark greens. I don't know if it was bottle green or hunter green. Uh, lots of great colors, including um, basic colors. But I can't say this for sure. As I pointed out, most of these, again, I don't think all of these, but I would say most often when you see them without the seam, no seam, so this is gonna be the an older version. Um, they were kind of like, I think they started these in the 80s. They could have started them earlier than that, but as far as I know, it was sometime in the 80s that they started putting these out. They all have like different colored linings. So cool, right? Just like the eyeglasses I showed you. So eyeglass cases. So for the new release in 1996, 
I see the same color lining on all of them. Again, I'm not gonna say with 100% certainty that they didn't ever put them in different color, with, um, put those out with different colored linings, but at this point in time, I've looked at a lot, any that I see for sale, they all have the same colored lining. So that's another thing that you can look at um, if the seam doesn't like stand out at you, that maybe the, what you have there is the uh, newer release, the 1996 release, the 6906 and 6903, double change purse, change purse, versus these a little older, 7180 and the 7155 double purse, change purse, okay? Makes sense, but kiss lock purse is all the same. So coin pouches, right? Well, I'm gonna show you a couple other really unique little coin pouches. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this one. And this is, <sighs> oh, look at the little car, Coach Car Touch stamp. You got a really uh, big zipper here. It comes down further, so it will open the pouch up a little bit more. And you have this brass key fob, this little carabiner. Let me show you how this operates. These come on my favorite um, small vintage coach, leather good, luxury good item, my favorite SLGs. You see it kind of springs. That's how this carabiner works. And then the, to put keys on it, you can put keys on it. It's a little key fob. It is solid brass, so these will clean up nicely. I haven't cleaned this one at all. The zipper is very tarnished. I don't think this piece was used. I've said this before, though on pieces that aren't used, bags, whatever, the zippers tend to be some of the worst. Um, and I think it has to do with the fact that it's not being opened and closed, which has probably a little bit of a self-cleaning mechanism to it. And so they end up being a little worse. But okay, let's get back to it. This is a 7218 key pouch. Here's a photo. Um, and something neat about that. So yeah, brass key fob. I'm gonna go ahead and open this for you. This zipper is a little, stuck again i think it has to do with the fact that it's um not been used i'm gonna try to on camera uh show you a little trick in cleaning it i actually will clean the zipper i haven't done that yet but um, i'm gonna see if i can do a little something else for you on camera show you a little trick if your zippers aren't working as well as you'd like them to i was looking for a oh no i'm sorry the car touch stamp was on the outside so these these are water buffalo line they have that soft water buffalo lining which is thin but very durable and um you can you see here this what's unique about this little bag it doesn't have an eyelet on the outside to hold this it actually can fit right into your little coin pouch here sorry my camera keeps on focusing differently and oh okay let's go ahead and show you a little uh zipper cleaning or zipper uh lubrication trick um you could just get some wax paper Let's see if it works. It might actually need to be clean, clean. Um, I recommend that first, which I would do with the jewelry cloths that I like, those yellow jewelry cloths. But you just rub this wax paper, which will do a little bit of tarnish removal along your zipper tee. So if you have a zipper that is not functioning as nicely as you think it should or would like it to. Rubbing a little wax paper along the zipper tee, get it in there, should help. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll, after doing that, I'll open and close. My issue is really at the bottom here. It definitely feels better. Let's see if I can get a little wax. And what I'm gonna try to do, this is like my problem area here on this corner. I don't know if I can. Let me try to rig it here to get a little wax on the inside of the zipper. Just scratching wax on it. And then by opening and closing the zipper, it helps to get that wax more inside the teeth. It's already working much better. But I'll probably, I'm not gonna necessarily finish this on camera, but I will probably, like I said, clean it and then wax it. And yes, this is already working much better. Um, might not be as appreciable on camera, but this is a really great trick if you wanna improve your zipper function. Okay, so there we go, 7218 
key pouch, such a cute little item. Definitely not gonna find this often, okay? But if you see this, that's what you see. And sometimes I'll see them, sadly, missing. It has this like little leather attachment on the inside. I don't know if that comes undone, but sadly I'll see these missing, or actually I see the chain, but I see the carabiner missing because this can easily come off if somebody takes it off, so. So, yep, okay. Great little item. And then I think I'm gonna be keeping this one in my own collection and I'll tell you why. One, I wanna have one of these little items. I don't need necessarily all of them. Um, the, sometimes that's fun. But this right here, let's see if it focuses. This is a 4848 classic coin pouch. Notice the little teeth marks. <laughs> Oh, somebody gave this to their kid to chew on. And I, little itty bitty tiny teeth marks. And though I never did that with my kids, my kids weren't really chewers or suckers. They wouldn't really even take pacifiers, my boys, but I just find that adorable. It actually had a lot of watermarks too. I'm gonna talk about watermarks um, in another video and what I do for them, but uh, it had a lot of watermarks and I cleaned it and it's looking great now, except I couldn't get those teeth marks out. I probably lessened them a little bit. I tried a lot of different techniques. It wasn't really working. Also here, I'm gonna show you a picture. This, um, the edging, somebody took this. I don't know if they thought they were making it look nicer or what. They took um, probably an edge coat, an ugly edge coat and did a terrible job um, and coated the edge of this piece. This piece did not come with an edge coat of any sort. Um, this is after it's been removed, I removed it. Doesn't that look nice? And maybe it wasn't even an edge coat. It might've just been paint. I don't know what they did, but I removed it. And now it looks more like it should. So um, yeah, zipper works great on that. Uh, but what I'm keeping right now are, oh, whoops, <laughs> I'm keeping earrings, <laughs> little earrings. Where did it go? Okay. Yeah, I'm keeping little earrings. Oh, oh. okay, I should stop with that. I'm keeping little earrings <laughs> in this little coin pouch. <laughs> okay, because... That's what I wanted to do with it. Um, but it also has a, a uh, leather lining to it. So cute. Um, by the way, how I removed what this was, it, it might have been paint. Again, I couldn't say for sure. Um, it just looked terrible. I use Angliss, uh leather prepper and deglazer to uh, remove it. I just took a Q-tip and slowly removed it. So that's what I did with that. And it's as good as new. Okay, well, not really, but it, it's great. It's as good as, um, it's ready to be used now. It looks nicer. Okay, and in this case here, I um, have a another little coin pouch. And there's a Coach Car Touch stamp. There's the other side. This is a 7157 coin pouch. Easy enough. Right, um, and here's a photo of it. And the descriptor says, it can hold loose change, folded bills, even keys. And it has an extended brass zipper, just meaning that your opening here is a lot bigger. Um, and it has water buffalo lining, leather lining to it. So, yep. Another little cute change purse, coin purse, coin pouch. What is this? Coin pouch. This is technically a coin pouch. So you got a 7157 coin pouch. You have a 4848 classic coin pouch. You have the 7218 key pouch, which includes a brass key fob. So cute. Love this little piece. Um, and then I talked to you about your kiss lock change purses, your kiss lock purses, your kiss lock coin purses, whatever people want to call it. Um, in this case, this one happens to be a 7180 double purse. Maybe sometime in the 80s. Okay. So, 
And I also told you about the comparison of the 1996 release, um, Kiss Lock coin purses, which are a little different. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Vintage Coach Bag Talks. Join my Facebook group, Vintage Coach Eye Candy, to check out a lot of these beauties. And yeah, uh, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Uh, help me to get to a thousand subscribers so I can do a Bonnie Cashin giveaway. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.